Glorious, flawless God, today is the big day, the day of resurrection, the day when death died. Yet this big day is in the middle of a big pandemic when death is all around us, even if it is just on the news and Facebook and in the sirens rolling by and stalking our families far and near. So today should be a day of big prayers, but we have only little things to lift up. This week, we folded up the canvas bags that used to carry our groceries and began to cry for all the good efforts we've made that have gotten folded up and set aside. This week, we walked the dog past the cemetery and thought, the stones are too close, and began to remember all the people who touched our lives and from whom we now have so much distance and began to cry. Joy, too, came, as bright and flamboyant as the drive-by birthday parties with balloons out of the sunroof and singing out of the car windows that we saw on YouTube. Glorious, flawless God, on this big day, we ask that you bring your loving presence ever closer to us in our small joys. For the jam from last summer, that reminds us that summer will come again and reminds us of dear friends in a snowy Christmas fair together. For all those like Dave Larkin who are recovering from cancer, may they continue to be careful in this time of pandemic. For those who have stocked up on food in our house and for the pleasures of favorite meals like shepherd's pie, for the creative people who can sew and make gorgeous face masks to keep our community safe. For our gratitude at not yet personally knowing someone sick from COVID-19 and for our prayer that it may continue that way. For the improving weather so we can return to our gardens with renewed enthusiasm. For all the new ways we are finding to do things we have done before for the walks we are taking and all the new things we spy when we get to know the same route really well. For all the small joys we are finding in this big mess of a pandemic that we cannot put into words. Bring your loving presence closer, O glorious, flawless God. Glorious, flawless God. On this big day, we ask that you bring your loving presence ever closer to us when our small concerns seem too big to endure. For Henry, Linda, and Bob's grandson, who's recovering after receiving stitches from a fall when he was playing superhero. For Anne's father, who was temporarily hospitalized, if only for a few hours, for a minor non-COVID-19 infection. For Josh, John Panto's son, who is working in an essential agricultural business and is exposed to hundreds of workers every day. For Carol's brother, who hit a deer with his car. He is okay, but the car did not make it so well and it was his primary means of getting to work every day. For Cindy and Melanie's nephew, who was traveling during the pandemic to get home to be with his family. For Reverend Catherine, for me, recovering from a weekend stay in the hospital with a racing heartbeat, I am fine. But I agree that the hospital is not the place to be right now. For all those who have lost their jobs and are facing economic insecurity at a time when there is no useful way to look for work. For all those whose jobs have become completely overwhelming because our systems of unemployment and health insurance were never designed to handle a time like this. For all those who are afraid and who feel they can't say so because everyone is being so cheerful. For all those who have no one to pray for them, please accept our prayers. For all those doing essential jobs, doctors and nurses, and those who wash the laundry and cook the meals at the hospitals, 
those who stock the grocery shelves and keep the pharmacies open, those who deliver packages and keep the mail going, those who keep the power and the internet flowing, those who maintain public safety. May they know that we are grateful when we can't possibly reach out to every one of them. For all the concerns we feel, but cannot find the words for. Bring your loving presence closer, O oh glorious, flawless God. Glorious, flawless God, help us to see that suddenly the balloon stood for every joy we've ever known, gravestones for all our losses. And changing back to plastic bags for bread and coffee and potatoes to keep everyone safe should remind us that we haven't changed the world for the world's children. Then, glorious, flawless God, help us to see that your beloved, resurrected Son always spoke to us in parables, not just in the vintage ones from Scripture, but in these two, found in a strange new normal of these stay-at-home days. We know the inside out of little things that flatten the curve between our hearts and hope. Between this kingdom and the kingdom to come, for which we pray every day, saying, 